afternoon. Welcome back to The Outsider's Perspective. My name's Ollie, and I got a loaf of bread for you, fresh out of the oven. Today's loaf comes to us from Mahatma Gandhi, and it goes a little something like this. True morality consists not in following the beaten track, but in finding the true path for ourselves and fearlessly following it. Once again, the message is clear. Like the Walt Whitman quote that I read a few videos back, Gandhi is alluding to a very similar thing here, which is that true morality consists not in following what others claim to be moral actions, but in determining the right path for yourself and then following it fearlessly. And this is part of becoming your own priest or priestess. It's part of taking charge of your life. Because when I talk about self-mastery or mind mastery or self-control, that's only one facet of it. If you want to be your own master, you have to master your own beliefs. You have to determine what is right and what is wrong for yourself. And to do that, you need to, first of all, cleanse the mind of bullshit because everybody's mind is full of it. And then learn to listen to your heart. Because I firmly believe that without mental obstructions, without conditioned responses and unexamined beliefs, the mind becomes very clear and the heart is allowed to do its thing with great accuracy. And in that situation, you will find your own path. You will find your own moral compass and your own code of ethics. And then you will follow it fearlessly because you'll know in your heart that it is right for you. But if the mind is still littered with garbage, if the mind is still polluted with things that you've never examined, conditioned responses, irrational beliefs, then the heart will be confused and it will give you incorrect messages. Your intuition will be skewed by the mind's problems. So I always caution people, trust your intuition but until you've cleansed your mind and until you have set order to your mind and your psyche, be cautious with that little intuitive voice because it might mislead you and it might send you down the wrong path because it is being harassed and influenced by the mind. I firmly believe that establishing some relationship with the mind and maybe turning the tables on it and making it your servant instead of your master is an essential first step toward enlightenment, self-fulfillment, and all the other good stuff <laughs> that we're all after. Ah! <laughs> I'm not getting out. I'm getting carjacked. Anyways, that's it for me. Enjoy the rest of your evening and live well, my friends.